Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of the Project Zomboid. Let's open up the unnamed save file because I forgot that you could name save files once again. Now, if I remember correctly, we were looking for weapons, so this will probably be another day of searching houses nearby, killing zombies, and looking for a baseball bat. Preferably. Oi! You know what, I'm not even picky. Another frying pan would just be fine. I know I did see another frying pan when I got this frying pan. I believe there's two. But I didn't think that I'd have to be relying on this frying pan for this long. So, I didn't pick up the other one. But, with that being said, let's get started here. Okay. Get out of my house. And let's look at the land once again. So it generates around. There we go. That's how you close the door. Okay, let's have a look around. A dead zombie or two. Have we been up there? Okay. Zoom out a bit. Oh yes, that's the future scheme. You can zoom right in. Look at this man's hairy chest. Or you can zoom right out and get a good look around. But I like to keep it kind of about there. We can sort of see far enough away, but it's also not crazy zoomed out. I occasionally play with it just crazy zoomed in, just just for the fun of it, but I usually end up dying. Because you just walk straight into a zombie horde without even knowing it. Okay, cool. Let's climb through. If I remember correctly, I was having a bit of trouble opening windows last time, but I've already been in here. This looks like the other house. Let's check. No, nope, I haven't. I'd have taken the food. Which one of these is my food? So, I was pretty sure I'd emptied my food into the fridge. But maybe I hadn't done that with this food. I'll have to do that. So that we don't get overweight. I'll take a kitchen knife just in case I run out of weapons. Because I'll take two. Because I really don't want to be without a weapon. I'm sure I've taken this stuff last time. It's like the exact same stuff. Did it not save? Am I crazy? This feels like the exact same loot as last time. I'm sure. Oh, well, normal hiking bag is better than um, duffel bag. So I guess I'll take that and I might empty that out at home. For now, let's eat a bell pepper. I'm a little bit peckish. Don't want to get starving. But that takes ages to get there. Better to be prepared. Yes. No zombie. Okay. I'm not falling for safety stuff. Okay. And now I'll open up this door so that when I'm walking by, I know I've been here before. Okay. Let's come down here. I don't actually know where I am, like, I've played around this game a little bit, but I'm not too, too much of an expert with the area, I guess. Okay, apparently I've been here, I think this is where I spawned, was in there, or in there, probably. Okay, so there should be some more of these places down here. But let's take out this man. So I might have to switch, ooh, I've attracted. So I might have to switch to a knife if this thing breaks, which wouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> this is the end of the world though. Um, if I did have to do that, I'd rather not because it's just a bit more awkward to use as a weapon. But this frying pan just it seems to kind of suck anyway, so... Like it? Hey! That guy wasn't there before, was he? Oh my goodness, this frying pan sucks. <laughs> oh, I think we got a crawler there. I don't think he died. Now, if you if you think you got a crawler, like this guy here, how you tell is you turn away from him, and if he disappears, he's a crawler. What? He didn't get me. That's a lie. That is a lie. 
at no point did he get me. If that kills me. If that is what kills me, then I'll get a man with a better name. Also, I'll be kind of annoyed, because that did not get me. Another big... Oh, no, wait. The other one's a normal hiking bag, so I guess I'll get rid of this normal hiking bag. I'll take some pills to get rid of the pain. There we go. So at least I can pretend I'm not damaged anyway. It seems big. I'm panicking, so I could take some more pills. You can't overdose in this game, so that's always useful. Um, you can also just like take a ton of sleeping pills, I guess. I don't know. Just take all the pills, really. Okay, let's take this lady down. Is that it broken? Oh, oh, a pistol. Okay, let's take a pistol. Come on, come on, come on. And drop this. Okay, so I guess I have to switch to. Oh my goodness, I got all my books. I have to switch to a knife now. Good thing I brought this knife along. Okay, let's knife him. Let's knife this guy. It's really up close and personal, which is why it's so dangerous. Another kitchen knife. I guess I can't complain. Um. Knives don't last long though. You kill a few zombies and that's the knife broken, you know. But they are nice and quick. And silent killer. A garbage bag. With a garbage bag you can make a um, rain collector. I think it takes four garbage bags. And rain collectors are very important in the late game. Oh, that took a few hits. Uh, in the late game when the water's been turned off and I mean, if you want to drink, you kind of need water. Also, if you want to, like, grow potatoes or carrots or radishes, you kind of need a good supply of water. And so, you want to be able to make some of those. It takes a while to make them. You need to get your carpentry skill up before you can make them. So, if we want to survive long, I guess that's something we should be looking out for. Once we have an axe, we can get onto that. We can chop down some trees and cut them up with the saw that we collected last time. Okay. Let's take out all the zombies. No, it's good just to clear out the zombies. Oh! I did not see you. Okay. But I, th I think, yeah, we, we didn't get infected. But we need to start playing it a bit safer because I've already had two hits within the first three episodes well that's me without that knife like you can see it doesn't take uh, very long for the knife to break um, that was it so I remember when I first started playing this game I just completely re solely relied on butter knives and that kills about two zombies before breaking if you're lucky. Take another pistol, why not? I probably won't take any more in the future, but take two. I'm not sure if they can break, but if they can, we'll back up. Okay, nothing there. What's in here? What kind of place is this? It's open, at least. Always. Oops, 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 I clicked off the screen. Uh. This looks like a nice store. Can I not break the window? Don't bleed. Okay. Sometimes you can cut yourself smashing windows like that. Okay, make sure there's no zombies around. Cool. Check out these shelves. Oh, there are no shelves. They're fake shelves. These are the things here. Baking pan. I'm not really a fan of cooking. Okay, it's the same on the other side. Fork, sugar, CD, canned soup, I'll take. I'm not sure what some of the stuff does. There's a lot of things in this game which I'm not even sure if they have a use. Um, frying pan, I guess I'll take that. Uh, when this knife breaks, I will switch over. You got orange soda? This is not. Oh! Ah, gunshots. Okay, so that's just some meta game draw zombies around so you gotta be careful because now zombies will be walking around 
looking for the, the shot. I'm not sure if crowbars are any good, but it can be a weapon, so I guess I'll take it as well. Anyone in here? Nope. Cool. Magazine. Nothing. Nothing really. With a pencil and a piece of paper, I could write myself a note and then read it and be entertained by it. But that seems a bit weird. So let's not do that. But let's head out. Uh, I might start heading home because I have a lot of stuff on me. And I need to switch over into a another big hiking bag. Okay. Let's kill this woman. Oh, more shots. That's good. That's good. I have a gun now, so technically I could just kill everyone with a gun. By everyone. Oh, okay. That bag's full. Yeah, by everyone I mean like 20 people and then die. So I might start heading home now that, that bag's full. Uh, I think I live up here. Maybe. Hmm. I don't actually know where I live. Uh. This looks like it, right? Yeah, this is my house. Surely. Open. Yep. My house. Home sweet home. So that's... Put everything... All these millions of books. I thought I put them away last time, but I guess not. Put newspaper. Cool. Let's put all that away. So you can read these books and they up your skill. But you gotta start with like the basic and then go into the expert and be oh, start with beginners, you know, that sort of thing. It's the kind of thing you'd expect. It looks like I'm done. Let's put some food away in the fridge. I have a lot of food. Bread, grapes, and some popcorn maybe, I don't know. Better be safe than sorry. Not sure what mustard does, but might as well just put it all in the fridge. No reason not to. Okay. Yeah. See, there's a ton of food in this game, but after a point it all just starts rotting and then you got nothing. It's just awful. So this is my perishables. Put my chips in, put dog food in, peanut butter, peanut tuna, five tuna, that's pretty good. Was this somewhere else keeping weapons? I guess I'll keep weapons here. Let's just move these over here. <laughs> Why not? So I will make this thing my weapons. I'll put some more rounds in, put my frying pan in. My kitchen knife, my pistol. I think that's all my weapons. Two pistols. Yeah, I came prepared. Then when the knife breaks, I'll equip a crowbar and try that out. And then in the oven, <laughs> I'll put kind of like useful stuff, stuff you craft things with. Nails are very important. And cool. I think my crowbar is in the duffel bag, but let's just quickly place this here. And I'm going to switch over my bags, so I have two of the biggest bags in the game, and I'll get some food. But having two big hiking bags is great. So let's unequip, and after this, and then I can put this on my back. Cool. Put my crowbar in there. So now I could keep this stuff full. I really don't know how to pronounce that word. But I'm just going to throw it outside. There's no reason to keep it anymore. So let's put that down there. Oops, I clicked off the screen again. I'm not running at full screen because I don't know, full screen seems to skew the view the aspect ratio, so I'm not doing that. I'm running it in a window. Put my better blockers in here. My painkillers. 
Yeah, that looks good. Whatever sweater. Don't wear sweaters. It's mid war month. I don't know. I don't know what the war month is. July? Maybe? I don't know months. Seasons. Maybe I could go to one last house. I don't know. I'll explore in this direction. I don't think I've explored up here yet. Maybe there's nothing up here. Uh, at least we'll kill a zombie. This house. Broken window. Never a good sign. If you see a broken window, watch out for zombies. Two broken windows. Maybe he went in and came out. No zombie. Cool. Is that a poor man's house? I'm saying he's poor because his beard is just like in the same room as his TV. That's usually a sign of being poor. Not judging, just saying what I've noticed. Take some books. This person likes books though. Likes books a lot. See if they have any. F Ooh, this is dangerous. I have an open window here, so any zombie could just climb through. So I'll try to be quick about this. Take my. Take food. Take the food and run. In other words, before a zombie comes and kills me, take a frying pan just in case. Don't ever want to run out of weapons in this game. Open the door. Kill zombie. Goodness. Always check zombies for carrying an axe. Because that's how I found every single one of my axes. Is oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, that could have ended badly. That almost ended terribly. My knife broke. I'm stomping. I didn't think I was gonna be stomping. Oh, it's just the bat texture. Interesting. I can just pretend that I have a baseball bat. Except that I don't think this is nearly as good. Okay, I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna be hitting slow and weak. So it's gonna take more hits to kill and longer to kill. Oh, she's getting up again. That's how long it's taking me. Okay. Let's take this man out. Beat him to the ground before his wife comes. I'm going to pretend you're his wife. Are you a woman? You look like a woman. Yeah, you sound like a woman too. Who screams. Take some more painkillers. You never know. I seem to be getting attacked a lot as it is. So why not? Okay. And then I'm going to head home. If I want... Yeah, two things bandaged. Am I leveling up? Oh, I could level up blunt. Why not? That makes me swing faster. Maybe harder. I don't know. Hopefully harder. That's a tiny bag. Close the door. Put everything away from the house. Mainly the food. It's always good to... Refrigerate. And before I go to bed, I'll eat an eggplant because I'm into eggplants. The meatiest vegetable that I can think of. <laughs> Let's put away more books. I'm probably doubling up on a bunch of books. Like advanced carpentry. I already have that one. That's alright. There's nothing wrong with having multiple books. Let's put my pillows in here, along with golf clubs and clothing. And I'm slightly feared, slight panic. I could take some more pain, I mean, not pain pills, some beta blockers. I'll just keep them on me, I won't bother pulling them away. Keep down my panic, keep my eyesight up. But yes, I think that's the end to another episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've worked out how to pronounce Gary's last name. And hopefully, when this poor man dies of being poor, I'll come up with a better name than Higu. But anyway, 
farewell. And even though it's not the night time for you watching this, good night.